Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. This week we're studying the Renaissance era of animation with the film The Little Mermaid from 1989. So The Little Mermaid is known for achievements in storyline, award-winning music, and of course, technical animations that resulted in unbelievable aesthetics. If you haven't yet, go check out the documentary. It's called The Making of The Little Mermaid. And then you can come on back and see how you did in the trivia. Annika, can you hear me? How are you? Good. Good. Thanks. Hey, what's up, Alex? So The Little Mermaid is the first film created during what is known as the Renaissance Age. At the time they were making The Little Mermaid, they thought, maybe we should throw in the towel and not even do animations anymore. But luckily, this movie is known for bringing it back to life and revitalizing Disney Studios. Here's my first question. Please make sure you're typing your answer in the chat. Who wrote the original story? Hi, uh, Christian Anderson. Yes, very good. Um, who voiced Scuttle? All right, the question from Kira is who voiced Scuttle? Annika, very quick on that one. Uh, Scuttle was voiced by Buddy Hackett. Very good. Who voiced Ariel? Jody Benson. Jody Benson is correct. For Little Mermaid, what was the last fairy tale animated by Disney Studios? Sleeping Beauty. Absolutely correct. Thank you. So it was 30 years they had done a fairy tale. What other Disney character inspired Ariel's design? Is it Snow White? Good guess. The other Disney character that inspired Ariel's design was Cinderella. Good guess. Unfortunately, it was not Cinderella, but I'm going to see if Vasilisa has the answer. Um, it's Alice in Wonderland. Very good. Who animated King Triton? Uh, I said Andreas Deja. Andreas Deja. I saw him in past documentaries, but I don't remember which ones. Yeah, he was all over these other documentaries that we watched, and it was cool to see how he was inspired by things like Cinderella, Pinocchio, and Snow White. And now here he is animating the characters himself, a really important character, like King Triton. Who voiced Ursula? Uh, Pat Carroll, I think that's how you pronounce it. Nice job. Henry, why don't you go ahead? So Sebastian the Lobster says, I can carry Ariel I was can. my daughter. I'd show her, her, and then there's a quote that you have to fill in. All right. Um, show her who is boss. Kira, have you seen this movie before? Um, no, I don't think so. He kind of goes, he kind of goes from being just like this, the lobster that advises the king to like someone who actually wants to help Ariel, you know? He becomes friends with Ariel and like yeah. watch it in the back almost. So we see a real character arc here. And this is real mm -hmm. filmmaking where you write a storyline for a character where they have some kind of a change of heart throughout the movie. All right. Thank you and good job. I know there were some other people had their hands up as well, and I want to hear your comments, but let's move on. How many people teamed up to animate the character Ariel? I said eight, but I don't think I'm right because it's like a little bit in my paper. Ooh, so yeah. sorry. Close. Sachi. Six. Six. Six is correct. So what they did was they used live action reference footage in order to make sure that all of the animators drew her in kind of the same way. Who jams under the sea? So there's three answers. Who plays the flute? Um, the newt. The newt plays the flute. Who plays the harp? Harp. The carp plays the harp. Who plays the brass? Um, I, I think it's the octopus. <laughs> so sorry, incorrect. Alex, what is your answer? Who plays the brass? The bass. Very good. The bass plays the brass. Which fish is called the Duke of Soul? Um, the fluke uh, is called the Duke of Soul. Very good. The fluke. What does Ariel invite Flounder to watch out for? Sharks. Henry is correct. Okay, so um, let me pick. So the question is, how long did it take to create the storm sequence? It took one year. It took about a year to create this sequence. How long is the storm on the screen for? Two minutes. Two minutes. What? Takes a year to make. It's on screen for two minutes. 
So that should give you guys an idea of the kind of work ethic and dedication it takes to make these movies. Who did uh, Andres de Habes King Triton on? Let's see if Vasilisa can give us this one. His dad. Yeah, very good. So he was Yay. talking about how the character reminded him of his own dad. Who helped Buddy Hackett by uh, taking reference photos? All right, so Buddy Hackett was a comedian. And he talked about somebody helping him out by taking reference photos. Gianfranco, do you have an answer? Uh, it was like his wife. Yes, that is correct. So he talked about his wife taking these photos really, really rapidly as he would change his facial expression to try to match this character, Scuttle the Seagull. What was Ursula's nickname? I think her nickname was the meanest creature of the sea. Good guess. Alex has a guess. Vanessa. I'm sorry, Vanessa is incorrect. Let's go to Kira. The sea witch. That is correct, the sea witch. Who said it? Under the sea allows you to push the color as far as you want to push it. Uh, Ken Anderson. So sorry, incorrect. Donald T. Towns? So close, literally off by only one letter. She said Donald T. Towns. Let's see if Anaya can give us the answer. I said Donald A. Towns. Donald A. Towns. Very, very close, Ariana. Uh, who said, uh, who said it? said villains who have a bit of con artist in them are more fascinating. Pat Carroll. Yeah, Pat Carroll is correct. And she did the voice of Ursula, if you remember. All right, give us the next question, please. The ocean moves slowly in the storm, suggesting... All right, so we're back here to the storm sequence. Uh, I really like them making this point, because it helped me as an animator. Uh, I wrote strength. That is true. Strength is one of them. It was uh, strength and power. Strength and power. You got them both. Some of you guys wrote scale, and I think that's also true. Um, the specific quote I was listening to said it suggested strength and power, but you're right. Scale. It looked humongous. Also because the characters were so tiny. Whose point of view do we see uh, the storm from? I said aerial perspective. Yeah. Uh, back in August, used what color for the hottest crustacean fancy? Orange. There were shades of orange, but the animators talk about focusing on this one color. Alex, what is it? Red. Very good. Red is correct. He wanted it to be literal. That's what they said. Hey, this is literal. They're talking about the hot crustacean band. They use red. Thank you, Alex. Alex, pick the next question, please. Okay. What does the lead character sing about during the third song? Uh, in the third song, the main character most of the time sings about what they want. Yes, very good. What they want. We root for them to get it for the entire rest of the movie. Since everything is always moving underwater, animators can't use... This was cool because it introduced a new challenge. It wasn't around when they were doing things like 101 Dalmatians because it wasn't underwater. Hold. Holds. Very good. That's what they're called. Holds. It's when a character holds a position. But since everything's moving underwater, their hair and everything, you couldn't have any holds. When making The Little Mermaid, Andre, Andre Deja wants to combine music with elegance. Uh, it was movement. Yeah, movement. So that was the idea. We have this music, we have this movement. If we can combine them together, it creates something really memorable. Glenn Keane says that what makes the film real is a struggle that Ariel has to do. Ariel is struggling for something, and this is what makes the movie real. The struggle to be... Free. Very good. You'll find that a lot of Disney movies have that. We're studying Aladdin next, actually today for classwork, and you'll notice there might be a similarity there. All right, guys, we only have a couple questions left. Give me both answers. What duo directed the film? Luca's got it. Uh, Ron Clemens and Ron Musker. Very good. Now, a lot of times it's one director for a movie, but these guys teamed up. They were both former animators and they teamed up. That was one of the best trivia rounds that we've had. Thank you guys for giving your effort on that one. That was really cool. Um, we have been recording this. I want you guys to wave goodbye to the Whitby community who came in to check their answers. And thanks so much to the seventh grade for each and every week giving their answers to all of these classic Disney films. This week we're studying the Renaissance era 
Thank you so much and see you later.